So I want to get your take on this. I mean, dead whale investigations do take time. And the fact that the suspect's finally been identified as RFK Jr. is probably just a coincidence in the timing, right? Yeah, obviously, I don't believe in coincidences. I mean, I guess I am a coincidence theorist, uh, not a conspiracy theorist. But, uh, you know, I'm surprised that they are attacking RFK so much just because, you know, it shows you that I guess they are afraid of RFK. And I didn't think that they would be that afraid of him. But also you see AOC attacking Jill Stein because they, she's worried about siphoning votes for the pro-Palestinian crowd. So, I mean, this is politics. I, I'm not surprised they're using dirty tactics. I mean, color me shocked, Ivory. Will a beheaded whale negatively impact the Trump campaign? That's the question now that now that he has thrown his support behind Trump. Can you imagine if, if this all comes down to a dead whale? But seriously, I'm, I'm just worried now with all the assassination attempts that they actually are afraid that Donald Trump's going to win this election fairly. And that's why they're trying to take him out. So, I mean, of course, they bring up the dead whale. They're going to bring up all of RFK's drama just because he actually endorsed a candidate that would, you know, be America first and, you know, cares about this country. But Ivory, once again, I'm not even shocked. Like, this is the October surprise. This is not the October surprise. We're about to be in for a much bigger surprise, I speculate, very soon. What is the October surprise going to be? I don't know. I, this, this, I'm just speculating this, but I feel like there might be an air disaster or something. Just something terrible. I hope that does not happen. I'm just, you see all the stuff with Boeing and whistleblowers, and I almost think that they want to distract people from actually voting, so they just kind of want to demoralize us. And, you know, they did it with the pandemic. Is there going to be another pandemic before the election? I don't think so. I don't think they have enough time, and there's only 49 days to the election. So something's going to happen. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I do think it's going to be very sad. It'll be something that tries to demoralize uh, the voters and, and maybe garner support for Kamala if she handles it well, kind of like how people rallied around George Bush, you know, bipartisanly after 9-11.